Hi guys, Aviate Mine here, back on another flight, except this time we're going to be flying, literally, in a game called Kerbal Space Program. And I finally got my mic from my computer, yay! Woo! And um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get into um, orbit in the Kerbal Space Program demo. Or even if you're in the full version, this will work. I'm in the demo though right now, so let's just start a new game. I'll resume my save and continue. So, yeah, today I'm going to be teaching you how to, yeah, um, make a rocket that can get into orbit. Now, I'm doing this in Sandbox because for a video it's a lot easier and I might start a Let's Play on this in career mode once I get the full version, if I do. Because, like, these two things don't actually work in the demo. And, so, guys, yeah. also, I'm going to start around this one if you didn't know. I'm also here. Yes, but um, it's not, like, going to help or anything. Sorry if you can hear any noises in the background on my keyboard going with mouse. Whoops, I was an accident. No, it wasn't. Uh, so yeah, you want to go to your vehicle assembly building, call it whatever you want. I'll do tutorial, tutorial, YouTube, orbit, like that, and yeah. So this is the vehicle assembly building, so you just want to open it up, call it something, or you can do that in the end, wherever, whenever you want. And so, yeah. Oh, maybe I don't know, show them that your, um, uh, whatever you... No. No. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll just cut that out. And, um, yeah, you've got the choice of these two pods. You can do... Command pod, the MK1, or the, yeah, yeah, that one. Just get the first one that you unlock. And, just in case you you are in career mode, put a parachute on it. I'm just going to put a parachute on it anyway, even though I'm in, yeah, um, sandbox. Sandbox, yeah. Then, you want to go to your structure and get a stack decoupler and just plonk it there. Now, these small fuel tanks here, you just want to get three of those pointing down, like that. And then, you just want to get a liquid fuel thruster T30 Relium liquid fuel engine. Uh, place that there. And then, um, scroll down with your scroller. If you don't have a scroller, you can use the side of your mouse. Mouse, yeah. So um, yeah, you can do that as well. And then you just want to go to your structural and get a stack decoupler like that. So it should cover over the engine if you've got the oh maybe two thousand thirteen. Kerbal Space Program and above. So do that, and then you just want to go to your fuel tanks and get five of the small ones here. So just get one, two, three, four, five. Then place uh, the th fuel thruster that we placed down before on it. It's Probably a bit late to tell you this, maybe, but do not move this rocket up. I'm not sure why some someone did it on this very design. It was actually the Star Gamer 7, and he moved it up, and when he launched it actually didn't work. So just be warned, do not do that. Sorry if it's a bit late. 
But yeah, facing this way, make sure you're facing the normal way. Get a, go to your structural and get the TT38K radial decoupler. The reason you want this is so it's like radio. Yeah. But as you can see down here, just click there or click hit X on your keyboard to put on symmetry 2. Place it there. No, not there, sorry. Place it here. Make sure it's one below that one. And as you can see, it put two on. Then you want to get the fuel tanks and put them on the side as well. So just do go ahead and do that. Put five again. Put another five on, basically. Like that. And get your LVT30 liquid fuel engine again and put it there. Right now you're actually really close to being done. And as you can see on the side here there's these things called stages. Now when you hover over them they light up. And see this last stage are these two engines here and those fuel tank tanks right there. Right there. So what you want to do is hover over this one, this fuel engine, see if it lights up this one green and then just click it and hold it and drag it down to the very very last stage where the other two are. So now these are in the same stage which means they'll fire at the same time. But that means right now they're going to decouple at the same time which is a bad thing. We do not want that to happen. So, to not have that happening, you want to get a FTX2 external fuel duct. Now go to the very side here, and then place it there. Make sure you're still on symmetry 2, but you must, I repeat, you must go from these outside tanks here to the inside ones, like that. Sorry if you can hear a bit of noise in the background. So yeah, do that. Which means it will, the fuel ducts will transfer fuel from these fuel tanks here to the inner fuel tank. Which means this one, when these two decouple, these ones here, then this inner lot of fuel tanks and uh, fuel engine will still be at full fuel so it will keep us going for um yeah a long time and yeah if you want to do a satellite for this then just attach like solar panels <laughs> that's what i do anyway you can't make proper satellites really until you're in the full version but yeah that's what i do in the demo version so once you've done that, you want to go to your strut tool and get the EAS4 strut connector. Make sure you're still on symmetry 2 and grab this strut connector and place it from the these top ones here to the middle one. So it should look something like that. Make sure it doesn't glitch out. I have, I've never made a glitch out, but just in case, yeah, it might actually not work. Then go from the outside fuel tanks to the inside, right? And then the inside fuel tanks. Oh, that was a fail. Inside fuel tanks to the outside. You have done your rocket, except for one thing. You need one more, two more things actually. And these are very, very important. So, while you're still in your structure, you'll get the TT18A launch stability enhancers. Now, you want to grab these. As you can see, get them. Make sure you're still on symmetry too. And then just place them here. Now there's one problem with these. It's because 
they automatically go in the wrong stage for some reason. So we need to come back over to the staging and go to these railing bits, which will light up the stability enhancers, the launch stability enhancers, and then just click and drag them both into the last stage. That means you will not have to press spacebar twice for this rocket to launch. Once you've done that, you need one more tiny thing. Actually, not another two. <laughs> and uh, go to engines, no, command and control. And you want to hit X two more times, which will make it to symmetry mode four. And then just get the RV-105 RCS thruster blocks. And then put them here, right? And because you're on symmetry mode four, it will bring up four, basically. As you can see, four. And hopefully you're enjoying the new mic, by the way. Hope you are. Now, up the top, as you can see, we've got these four. There's parts, but you can't hover over that at the moment because you're already in it. Parts. Action groups and crew. You want to open up the crew menu and then if there's none here, you just want to go to astronaut complex and you want to get a pilot. You want to get a, a good pilot. A very good pilot. This guy would be really good if he was a pilot. I'd so choose this guy. But unfortunately, he's not. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. This person seems to be the best. This person seems to be, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. This guy's got less courage, but we'll get this guy, we'll get this guy. Get Hudfrey Kerman, or if you've already got Jebediah, stick with Jebediah, because he is like a really good pilot. So we've got Hudfrey Kerman, and then you just go close, and then just click um, tick, if you haven't got one in there already. Now, you're ready to save, and launch. So, save, and launch. Just double check that you've got your staging all right, all right, on the uh, launch pad. Looks like we have. So let's blast off. So what you want to do is hold left shift until this little thing here goes up to the very, very top, as far as it can go. Now, you just want to hit, wait, wait, before you hit spacebar, you want to hit T to enable SAS and hit R to enable R RCS, which is, are these things. Now you're at all, you've done all that, just click spacebar. You should launch perfectly if you have done this correctly, like I've told you to. Now there are some extremely important things on this. Like I've, I've done this before, if you don't go 45 degrees when you're at 10,000 meters high, you will fail. <laughs> If you don't go 90 degrees at 30,000, 30 k's in the air, yeah, you, you will fail. So, once you're at about 9,000, you want to start heading 45 degrees. And make sure you stay at 45 degrees. Sometimes SAS doesn't let you do that. And then you should be about in this stage now, so just hit spacebar to ditch that stage. Okay. Now, when you're at 30,000 meters in the air, you want to go 90 degrees. So, yeah, at about 29, start heading 90. Do not kill the engines yet. If you kill the engines now, trust me, you will fail. I've done it before. So yeah, let's do that. Now, you want to go hit M 
to enable your map and then go to this blue line and make sure you go in front of your rocket and then click just click on the blue line and then click add maneuver and then you want to pull this yellow thing and then move a bit until the both yellow things touch they're touching now you want to bring up the nav ball as you can see then just want to click M again and if you're floating that's okay and then just see where this blue thing is there that's basically the maneuver you want to point your rocket in the middle of that doesn't matter if it's pointing down or not trust me I've done it pointing down and it still worked just make sure you're on that blue maneuver and then Hit space to ditch out stage and space again to fire engines. That's if you've run out of fuel. If you haven't run out of fuel, keep going with that stage. Just, um, yeah, click on the maneuver still. When this yellow bar gets pretty much to the bottom, it doesn't have to be all the way to the bottom, um, you, you hit X. Get ready to hit X. Because if you don't hit X, you, you won't stop the engines burning. Okay. Click X once it's basically down to the bottom. Now you're probably like, oh, of course I'm not in orbit. Look where we are. You actually probably are in orbit. I'm not joking. It probably seems like, oh, no, nah, we're not in orbit. But I'm not joking. Click M on the keyboard. You're now in orbit. How cool is that? Now, to get rid of this bad maneuver here you want to right click on it and then click on it which will bring up this and then just click the x button all right and now that maneuver is gone so now you're basically in orbit yeah and if you wanted to build a satellite with this well simple just add a couple of uh satellite things like solar panels maybe a couple of batteries yeah you can do that and woo, you're successfully in orbit. And you can ditch your stage if you want. I'll just show you. So just right click on the decoupler here. And then right click on the decoupler and then hit decouple if you don't want that stage anymore. You don't have to have that stage. You do not. If you want to have that stage, have it. It's fine if you have it. So that's basically the video. That is, yeah, basically the video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, yeah, please like, which will show great support, not only to my YouTube video and the videos, but also to my channel. Please comment on if this helped you or not. If you think we need an updated video, like, oh my god, the aerodynamics has changed, can you please make an updated video, or well, something like that, leave it down in the comments below for, yeah, for suggestions on if I should do that or not. Subscribe to join First Class Flight on my YouTube channel, and also to show great support to my flights and my channel and all my YouTube videos. That's basically my channel. And yeah, unfortunately, it's time to end the video. It's time to end the flight. Well, not literally, because we're not going down to the um, earth right now. Oh yeah, and that Debris, or the, yeah. That might stay in orbit. It might. If it doesn't die in orbit, don't worry, because your, your Kerbal is still in orbit. And just in case it didn't save, what you want to do before you exit the flight, you want to check if you are in orbit. I am. Click M. Click F5 to quick save. Alright. And then click Escape. And then click... Why not? Don't click... Space Center yet. Space Center. Click up here. Space Center. Boom. 
Now if you go to your tracking station, tracking station, tracking station, it should uh, bring up the earth. And then let's see, which one was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Nope. Right. There we go. It's in orbit. And then if you actually want to, yeah, do it, just click tutorial, whatever you name it, and click fly. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. So, hope you enjoyed the YouTube video. Again, do whatever I said before. Um, and I'm AVA9, signing out and flying out. See you on the next flight. Bye!